Thank you for viewing this, this video. This is a very important video. In my spirit, I have seen soldiers of the Lord, warriors of the Lord, put on the ground, wounded, attacked by the enemy. And what are we to do as a body of Christ? What are we to do as uh, soldiers of the cross? You know, it says in Luke chapter 10, Jesus talks about a man that went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell among thieves. And the thieves stripped him, stripped him and beat on him and left him for half dead. And this is what the, the vision that I saw were, was of soldiers that were being hit uh, by bullets and and missiles and they were on the ground they were bleeding and they were dying and this passage of scripture came to me this is what was happening you know in the the religious system the levi went by and the priest went by this man that was laying on the ground and he was wounded and he was dying on the jericho road and they went past him and did not touch him. They did not do anything for him. And then the Good Samaritan, which we know is Jesus, Jesus and his body, his body. I want you to get a hold of this today because if you are in the family of God, then you are part of his body. Jesus came on the scene and he stopped and he helped this man, and he poured in the oil and the wine, and he and he wrapped up his, uh, he bound up his wounds, and he set him upon his own donkey, and he took him to the inn. He took him someplace where he could get help. You know, and there are people that are dying, and and that are wounded in the body of Christ. They've been wounded by words. They've been wounded by the religious system, and. This is the word of the Lord that we are to watch each other's backs. We are to restore those. It says um, in Galatians 6, 1, that we are to restore those that are spiritual, need to restore those that have fallen into some type of, of trap of the enemy. We are to restore them back. The, the word that just comes upon my lips so readily uh, to speak to the body of Christ is this is a season of restoration. This is that season that we can restore individuals back into the fellowship of the body. Are you, are you talking? Yes. Yes, I'm talking to you. You know, if you're listening and you have not been having fellowship with other believers, then I'm speaking to you that God wants you back, not only in fellowship with Him, but with fellowship with the brethren. This is good. This is Lord, this is good. Hallelujah. And we are to restore. And that's exactly what the Good Samaritan did. You know, it says in John 10.10 10, that the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I know people that are around this ministry right now that the enemy has been attacking with, uh, with sickness, with the, um, surgery, with uh, um, other attacks uh, that have caused them to, uh, to be discouraged and to lose hope and and, and I am telling you that Jesus wants to come on the scene through you and bring healing uh, to those wounds. To bring healing uh, to those that have been uh, beaten and left for half dead on the side of the road. Jesus said, I have come. And when he comes, he brings abundance. And when he comes, he brings life. Religious the religious system brings death. The letter of the law killeth, but the Spirit of the Lord brings life. Hallelujah. And that's what we have in us, is the Spirit of the Almighty God. 
I am telling you in Matthew 26, 41, it says that we are to watch and we are to pray. And that is not just uh, for our own self or our own family, but it's for soldiers that are down, soldiers that have been wounded uh, by the attack of the enemy. I am telling you that there are things that we can do as believers to bring restoration and to bring healing. In 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, it says, As a good soldier, endure hardships. But there comes a time uh, when the body uh, and, the, and the, the spirit, the soul, and the body becomes weary. Um, and, and those are the soldiers that are falling on the ground. And it says uh, in verse 4, No man or no person that warreth entangles himself with the affairs of this life if he wants to be a good soldier. And so as those of, you know, that, that are strong in the Lord, those that have strengthened themselves in the Lord, let us help the others. Let us go and, and find where they are and bring hope and encouragement and healing uh, to their spirit man and to their bodies and to their minds. Uh, those, there are those that the enemy has just brought thoughts of suicide and thoughts of uh, unworthiness and thoughts of guilt and condemnation. You know, it says in, in Romans 8 that there is no now no condemnation to those that are walking after the spirit and not after the flesh. And so I say to you this day, if you are strong in the Lord, then go forth and strengthen your brothers. Go forth. Jesus said that to Peter. He says, when you are strengthened, then go and strengthen the brethren. Go and encourage someone today. Go and pray for someone today. Go and anoint someone with oil. It says in the book of James, confess your faults one to another. Pray for one another that you might be healed. I want to see these soldiers that are on the ground that have been attacked by the enemy to be brought up and to be bandaged up and to be set upon a rock and that their way will be established by the Lord. I encourage you today, take heed to these words and go forth and do exactly what Jesus did. Thank you for viewing. Jesus.